Um, hello everyone, Mark Fulmer here with the Tractic Influencer Series uh, from IFSEC 2019, joined by uh, Brian Sims. Brian? Hi Mark. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Fantastic, okay. Uh, fantastic to have you here. Uh, Brian, uh, of course, is with uh, Risk Extra. Uh, tell me a bit about Risk Extra. It used to be Risk UK, is now Risk Extra. It did. Well, the focus hasn't changed, Mark. Risk UK was for end, the end user in the UK primarily, right. as the title says. Um, we actually broadened that to become more digitally focused, and that's where we hence the change the brand to Risk Extra. Fantastic. Content's all still the same. Good. But we now do an added benefit for readers in terms of a daily e news blast. Still in the monthly print publication, all the content's very okay. much the same. Yeah, fantastic yeah. content. Um, speaking of content, uh, we had a quick chat sort of off camera before. We touched on GDPR, we touched on a couple of things. What do you see? I mean, a lot of people are talking about GDPR, but what do you see as being uh, popular these days or, or trendy? Well, if you judge by my email inbox, <laughs> uh, the, the topics that are most popular, I would say, at the moment, have always been cyber, anything to do with that, data protection, right. uh, certainly GDPR, the whole convergence agenda between, not just between physical and logical security, yeah. but also the convergence between the disciplines within a given business. So security, risk management, health and safety, facilities management, yeah. uh, fire safety, all of those things coming together under one umbrella. That's really an evolution there too, because it used to be logical. I mean, that, that was you know physical and logical, the two coming together, but now it's really all the different roles and the specialties and, uh, and so mm. on, so yeah, mm. interesting. Um, and then, you know, as, as the profession changes, you know, obviously education becomes more important, you know, continuing your, uh, your, your knowledge. What have you seen from that, uh, from that perspective in terms of improving the profession? Well, the great thing is, that I've always very much supported, obviously, ACES, the UK and ACES International, but also the Security Institute. The Security Institute's been very big since day one on continuing professional development. And I, I'm very big on that myself. I think to have a profession, the base point must be CPD and mandatory CPD in the UK. Yeah. I think we've got to get to the state where we're the same as engineers, architects, the law, and everything else to be, to be yeah. recognized as such. Yeah, to continue uh, continue that education process and continue improving, right, and being mm. recognized really as a profession. Mm. Uh, no, excellent, uh, excellent points. And, you know, we're, we're in the ASAS UK lounge. Uh, we'll be running into folks from the Security Institute throughout the day, so looking right, forward to that. Very much one on the same way. Exactly, so, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate Pleasure. it. Pleasure, Appreciate Pleasure. your time. Pleasure.